uh, it doesn't matter. Just the, 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 the meeting ID is 703-704-347-9490. It, it should be in your calendar, Mom. Oh. Barbara. Hello. Say something. Let's see if you can hear. Can you hear Derek? Yes, I just want to make sure you can hear. Hey, Derek, thank you for getting the agenda up there. Uh, would somebody call Fred for me? No problem. Okay, because I'm driving. Let's see where he is so we can get him on. Okay. I'm going back on mute. I'm here. Hi, Karen. How are you? I am fine. How are you? Great. Thank you. We're well, waiting I'm on going Fred. to be doing the back end thing. I am um, getting ready to get in my car, so I'll have you guys on Zoom while I'm driving home. I'll pick you back up on my computer when I get home, but I'll have you on the phone in the meantime, okay? Yeah, that's what I'm doing as well. Okay, I'll go ahead and mute. I'll mute everything on my end. All right, thank you. Uh Hello, everybody. This is Glenda Alfred Atkins. Hello, Miss Glenda. Hello, Miss Karen. I see. Uh, hey, Brenda. Hi. We're, we're waiting on Fred to join. Yeah, us. I'm going to see if I can try to get him. I've got my phone and my computer tied up, so let me see if I can uh, grab him on my, on my watch. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> How was you guys' uh, election? How did that turn out? Um, local. I, the only I, the only one I saw that I, I know they got the that made news were the the one between uh, Mr. Lumen and Mr. Lou Timothy Mays for District Three. Right. And uh, uh, Mr. Lumen uh, took it by eighty nine percent over his brother with eleven percent of the vote. Yeah, I saw that, and I was wondering what were the uh, what were the dynamics uh, surrounding that? What the two brothers would run against each other? <laughs> um, uh, that's probably uh, a little longer of a conversation than the than the media allows for. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in my opinion, but okay. uh, you know, I, I'm not the. I wasn't close. I didn't see the, the optics. I didn't see it up close, but just uh, from afar, you know, right. I'm not sure exactly how that was, how that worked or how that was even conceived, but. I hear you. Yes, uh, Glenda, that made us look really bad. Yeah. 
as a as a race of people. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering. They have two brothers run running against each other. Um, yeah, I had a lot so. of. I received a lot of questions about that, and I was just, you know, I was really surprised to see that. Well, I had asked a question. I was going to reach out to them, and they told me because I want to introduce myself and say, "Hey, how can I support you?" And they said, "Karen, stay away from them." <laughs> they said it's a situation and you need to stay as far away from that as possible apparently sent out an endorsement recently for one who was already in office okay yeah well you know I said it yesterday I'll say it again uh if the Lord told you, if the people told you to to run, I guess they forgot to tell you they weren't gonna vote for you. So. <laughs> well, I think that's that's the necessary element right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. But you know what, you guys? The thing is this: you got them running after each other. See, but there were other offices, you know, that were available. That they could have run for, and that's why I questioned it. I don't. I, I wondered if there was some type of. Uh, I wonder if there was some type of rivalry between the two. That's why I questioned that. You know? And then I yeah, so. it obviously had to be some kind of rivalry. I don't know. Yeah, because I'm not privy to that information. And and like I say, I didn't. Um, I knew them when they were children. Mm -hmm. I I don't you know because we. Uh, the two churches. My mother was a choir director, and his mother was a choir director. So we uh, went back and forth between churches, you know. So I knew them as children. I, I don't know them as adults. Right, right. But you got the, the one is the reverend. So you got the reverend going after the brother's seat. Why would you do that? Lift your brother up. Don't do that. Why do you try to take what's his? Right, right. That's what I said. He's going after that seat. You got four or five other people going for commissioner and you, uh, DCUA, and then you got. Uh well, that's why I kind of question it, but uh, you never know what goes on, you know, in family. So mm -hmm. I would just ask the question and I'd say, well, let me see if I can figure it out. But you know, it could be something in house. Okay. Were you able to get a hold of Fred? Or uh, he's on the call. All right, he's on. Okay, he's on Hello. the call. Hello. Great. Can anyone hear me? Well, do we want to, Fred? You want to get started? Let me be heard. Can you can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. yeah sorry about the delayed uh, uh, appearance. Sorry about that. And we just started. Sure, we can. Uh, as the the, Lewin, the the Mays brothers, they he did he did it for the money. The, the Timothy. Did it for the money, I think. Mm. For the money, they pay eighty-four thousand over here for a county commissioner. Mm -hmm. Eighty-four thousand for a part-time job over here. So, oh, eighty-four thousand okay. part-time job sounds pretty good to Mr. Mr. Reverend May. I think it was. That, that's right. my. Opinion. We pay eighty-four thousand dollars for a person to be part-time. County commissioner, yeah. Oh, county commissioner, yeah. In the county, yes, in Scammy wow. County, yes. Oh, wow. Do you know my job, my pay for the Senate is only thirty nine thousand? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yep. I've heard, I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's right. Lo I'm right local, the local, office. You local, are local <laughs> position, local position. No, no travel costs, whatever. Yeah, yeah the, the school board. I'm sorry. They pay, they pay what thirty four thousand school board debts. Mm -hmm. They're 34. We have 34 over here. Isn't it there? 34, 35 in the scan? I believe so. Yeah, it's about that. Yes. But they, they get big money for the county commissioners anyway. Plus, they get the perks from all the developers and the ever, everyone else in town because they're county commissioners. You know, have the well, I'm moving to Scambia County and running for county commissioner. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. I know that's right. <laughs> so we're going to get started a meeting if, 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 uh, if we can. And I apologize for being delayed here. Um, meeting is now open for uh, to begin. We said a pledge, if you will. Okay. okay. In, in unison, so pledge of allegiance. 
to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, with liberty, and justice. Thank you. We want to do the prayer for today. The prayer, we take turns. We want to go first today. Ms. Sandra. Excuse me. You may want to unmute. There you go. I didn't hear you. Anyone want to do the prayer today for our meeting? Yes, yeah, Sandra McCrary. I'll do the prayer. Okay, thanks, Sandra. Uh, I'm sorry, Ms. Sandra, before you start, just to let everybody know, I'm going to go ahead and mute you and uh, just make sure if you have something to say, just take yourself off of mute. Okay. Okay. If we could bow our heads and lean our hearts toward the Lord, we thank you right now, dear Father, for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you for this opportunity to see another day, a day we've not seen before. Father God, we are asking you right now to bless those that are on the call, bless those that are coming on to the call for this Escambia County Democratic Black Caucus. Father, we ask you to bless our country, our nation, bless those that are leading the nation. We bless those that have been elected to office in Escambia County. We ask you to bless those families who've been impacted by COVID-19, and we ask that we could all come together and do what is right so that we can save lives rather than lose more lives. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for your undying love that you died on the cross for us, Lord. We ask you to forgive us for our sins, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. You, Sandra. I want to keep moving down the agenda. Uh, approval of the agenda. Uh, everyone has a copy of the agenda, has a chance to view it, I, I believe so. Any additions or corrections to the agenda? President Gant. Yes. Uh, this is Ron Helm. Good evening. Um, I uh, see that our agenda, which I, I just received, has a couple of requests for potential endorsement. Um, as you know, I've been a part of the caucus since even the formation days before an official status. And I would certainly uh, like to submit my name for potential endorsement. I'm sorry, my, my, who was talking? I didn't get your name, I'm sorry. Who was talking? It's Ron Helms. Hey, it's Ron, okay, Ron, okay. Uh, we'll discuss that, thank you. Uh, well, we'll put that, add that to the agenda, Ron request. And another addition to the agenda or corrections? You get a motion, motion to approve the agenda? Uh, so moved. So moved. Move we second to approve the agenda as, as amended. Any comments? Those are favorites. Aye. I just, I, this, this is Sandra. I just didn't hear who, who made the second. The, okay, who made the second? Derek uh, made the motion. Who did the second? Okay, I'll second the motion. I'll just put that in a minute. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we'll do a, a roll, roll call and um, who's present. Uh, Derek, you want to do that for us, Derek, the roll call? Yes, currently right now on the call with myself uh, in order of the participants I mean, uh, listed. Fred Gant, Linda Scott, Linda Alford Atkins, Karen Butler, and Ron, I, Ron was, but I don't, so he's still here. Ron Helm. Yeah, he's there. Okay, I see he popped up on the list. Thank you. We were, but, someplace. but yes, that's uh, everybody in totality. How many do we have? Um, how many do we, we have? We have Barbara Petty on the phone, correct? Oh, yes, that is correct. Oh, yes. Right. Yeah, ba Barbara's was so in total phone. eight. Okay, thank you. Then we have a, we have a quorum. Um, if you will, have a quorum. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, Treasury report. Uh, uh, we, um, as you want, some of you may know that after the, our meeting in, in February at the Camper House, uh, I was able to, at a March meeting, our old Treasury did not show up. They had all the financial records, the bank's account, if you will, 
And for the last several months, I've been trying, uh, despite the pandem pandemic, to get that count, to get the counts transferred over from the old officers to, to new officers. And I uh, hadn't been able to do that because several several things have come up the last several months. But, the, but on Monday, a senior and I got together and we uh, took the receipts from the last event we had in, 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 in February. We calculated the amount of money collected. We uh, called the, even with some chagrin, we called all people who wrote the checks and asked them whether they're still good. And Sandra was able to do that for us. Thank you, Sandra. Make sure that it could be deposited and they still will be, uh, won't be surprised to the, to the, to the uh, those who gave us the checks. We, I mean, all those, we trust all those bridges on the last couple of days with Sandra's help primarily. And then we're positioned to deposit those funds into the account uh, from our last event. Uh, by way of information, we had 375 in our account, as we still do, the last year or so from the old officers. But unfortunately, as you know, you, you may, may recall, difficult in, in getting up with those guys, get them to do the what's necessary to change over the signatories on the account. So the accounts to get those signatories. I've emailed the the old signatories, uh, Mr. Um, I mean, Miss Barbara Goings, Tyler Walker, and Bill Snow. I asked them to, would they, would they help us in getting, this, getting the things done to get it transferred over? And now, because the bank wanted a letter from the old signatories of the, on the account as to who the new ones are, uh, and they want a copy of which I think Bill or Barbara should do for us uh, in the next, by next week, if you will. That's my plan by next week. And I also want a copy of the, um, the copy of it we also incorporated. And I did not know that actually, uh, just that a full Sundays. I looked up the Sundays uh, number on the, uh, our number on Sundays and I see where our local chapter have been incorporated actually. But the banks say we have been. They need to, need to confirm our, our Sundays number and get either uh, Barbara or Bill Snow to send a letter for us. Uh, and we can, then we can deposit the funds into our account, which will be done next week. In the ex existing account, we'll be able to start using that account as our new office and a new uh, chapter should should be. So it's been a long road, uh, somewhat due to, due to the pandemic, people have access to people, and some regarding uh, relative to uh, old members, old officers not being not being too uh, too present with us the last months before the pandemic. So we should get that resolved one day next week. I sent an email out to all our members who paid their dues back in February and to know that it's been done, the checks been deposited. I'll also give them a, a current total of the account at that time. We can move on from this point on to what uh, you get our financial house in order, if you will. So that's a long story. It's a long report. What's been going on the last several months. And uh, hopefully we can get this thing resolved next week. Uh, we don't need a, to approve the report in my opinion. Uh, we just to make it for the record. Um, one thing is certain, we have $375 in the bank. That is true, as we did back in back in February. Same amount still there as, as was then. So beyond that, um, that's where my report on the account. Uh, Sandra, anything you want to ask Sandra about the uh, our efforts to get our treasure back in line? Okay, well, we'll go with that. Any, any questions about what I've just tried to share with the uh, membership? Any questions regarding my comments? Okay, great. Thank you. Let's do it to Derek Scott in the tech report. Derek, if you will, please. This is Derek. I don't have anything necessarily new to uh, include in far from a technology report, just so that everybody is aware and we uh, know where we stand from a social media standpoint. We now have active accounts on Facebook as a Facebook page. Uh, we do also have Instagram, and now most recently, at the request of the state Democratic Party. Uh, we now have Twitter. Uh, so the uh, chapter has been actively 
using all social media accounts, uh, especially since the uh, the DNC has started. I have been a a tweeting individual. Uh, also, too much to the point that I'd like to not keep put it for another day or two. But nonetheless, uh, we are we are actively tweeting and engaging. Um, yesterday, it was kind of exciting. I tweeted and uh, Joe Biden liked to tweet. So that's my technology report for this time. So that's all I have. Thank you, Derek. You wanna, I want to thank any, any questions for Derek? The membership, any questions for Derek? Okay. And let me say too that Derek, I want to thank Derek. A lot of, lot of, a lot of feedback in the uh, background there for someone. Anyway, but could you mute that, Derek? That the feedback. Okay. Anyway, go. On. I want to thank Derek for his hard work and 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 getting our our technology system in place. He's done a you've done a great job, Derek. I really appreciate that. I really do. Uh, we're back in the in the uh, we at least we come forward on, on that on that end, if you will, uh, to make us more relevant as we go as, in real time as we go forward. Because unfortunately, with the pandemic, you know, every, virtual virtual and online and 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 and, and Zoom is a is a new standard for the day. Unfortunately, and it's not much getting out there and, and knocking on doors as it once was. Hopefully, it will be in the future, but it's not now. So, our technology uh, face, I mean, our presence. It's so important. Hopefully, we can do more with it going forward. Uh, and go as far as old business. Segue into old business. Actually, is that going forward? What are our next steps in the direction of the ECDBC? E what are our next steps in terms of how we make, make become more of a player in the election process in the short term, and our goals in the, in the long term attached to what we want to do now? You know, we haven't met since I guess March. I think it is. That's what, six months, eight, five months ago, had the pandemic, the last four, five, or six months. Things, the rules have changed, the, the, the standards have changed. So, you know, how do we now, what do we do next in terms of, uh, we had, as a group, been then involved in the, in the political process, but the, what the party has, local party has been involved in. They've been doing virtual phone banks and, and uh, not virtual, but phone banks by, um, to do through the uh, technology. They've been doing virtual meetings, if you will. I've actually heard to send those, those, those meetings and ask to all the members, membership when they, can, when they come to me. Hopefully you've been, been able to attend some of those meetings, hopefully. Um, but it's just a stand, new stand of the day is virtual and everything back technology. So with that, with that in mind, it, when everyone has been involved with the party per se the last couple of months, who knows what the party's doing, who knows the, the direction of the campaign and how they, how that's going now, if you will. They want to give us some comments or ideas or suggestions as to how we can move forward in that regard for campaigning. The other part when you talk about and sort of the, uh, is this going forward, is how do we get involved with uh, getting the African-American Democrats to run for office in the next cycle. It's four years away, but it's something we need to lay a foundation for now. I think we should discuss that, not today in particular, but on our next agenda. How do we get African Americans, uh, grow them, support them, mentor them, the run for office in the next election cycle? We didn't, um, as your president, I know, didn't do a good job with that this year. The pandemic came around and sort of disrupted our, our flow, if you will. But we need to start now to get ready for the next four years from now. We got to plan and, and mentor and grow and, and identify people who may want to run you know, and, and prepare them in the future. So the first thing is how to be get involved in this campaign as it is now. And we got any ideas about what they've seen, what they've done, how we can insert ourselves into this process as a Democratic Black Caucus, uh, particularly so. Open for ideas, comments, so you know, everyone will start at one time. So please make comments, if you will, on this show. Getting involved now. Between this now is Sandra. Okay. I did, I have called the um, minority uh, caucus leader, mm -hmm. and I left him a message. He did not get back to me yet, but I'm hoping that we'll be able to um, uh, coordinate with his organization because there are a lot of young people I hear. Uh, I think Ron or 
I can't remember who said it in the last meeting. So I did call him and reach out to him. Um, and I'm going to also uh, do that with the um, sororities and fraternities. If we can um, get those groups to join in with us. Um, I don't know what other, but uh, Mary Williams, I was hoping that she would be on the call because she said that she had direct contact with the Dream Defenders and uh, one other gro local group. But the key is to me is to get more young people involved um, in uh, the Democratic Black Caucus. But I did leave a message for the young man that is the new president of uh, the minority chamber. And I'm looking minority forward chamber. to hearing from you. Okay, okay, great, great. Okay. With regards to um, the young people, um, you, I agree 100%, 100% concur 100% with those comments, Sandra. Uh, the, one thing is how do we, how do we, how do we do that? What mechanism will Vic will, do, Vic will use to, to, to connect with them, to pull them in, uh, to put us together? You know, what vehicle do we use, the vehicle event, whatever we'll call it, we use to get them to, 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 to come together with them. And that's, that's one question to be, to be asked. Um, uh, and then at the end of the comments about along these lines, anyone else in an interface with any, any other groups, uh, young Democrat groups, um, uh, and been involved in the campaign. I have never been involved in the campaigning. I have not, so I can't talk a lot about that, but anyone been involved with phone banking, with the party. They want to share with us the experiences so far? Can I make so, a comment, uh, okay. President Gant? Sure. Okay, I would like to offer that uh, if you would contact Sandy Smith. Sandy Smith is doing an awesome job over in Santa Rosa County as mm -hmm. far as uh, virtually getting people out to vote and so forth. Further, um, Al at the Democratic at the Florida Democratic Party. I have his phone number that I can give you. Al, what's the last name? I let me. Start. I can't think of his last name. Okay. But um, I can't think of his last name right now. Like I'll, I'll look it up for you, but I don't want to take up too much of your time. I but, mm -hmm. but Al from the Democratic Party, he can also be very helpful in this and uh, Lydia, the state president, has asked Sandy to give people, to help people out with this particular endeavor. Sandy. You have Al's phone number, Andy? Sandy? Al, Al phone number, you have a handy number. You give it to me later? Or? Yeah, yeah, I give it to you later. Okay, that's fine, okay. What is, what is Sandy doing, uh, Glenda, over there, Sandy? <sighs> I really cannot pinpoint it. The, the, one, one thing I know that we are trying to get, um, get working is that you can, I can't, they used to call it hustle in the last round of uh, the last election we had. And it's a, it's a vehicle that you put, and um, Derek may know more about this than I do, but it's something you put on your, it's an app you put on your phone and it can send out maybe 25 uh, messages in about two minutes. Yeah. Okay, you know what I'm talking about, Dan? Yes, I do. I have it. I was going to wait till you finish to kind of share. That's probably one of the things that we have going on. But yeah, go ahead. Okay. Well, but that's basically uh, what they're doing. And they're also having a lot of candidates for them. And if, it's, a, if it's appropriate right now to talk about candidates for them, is it? Right now? Yes, I, I, th I think so. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay. The other thing I want to say about candidates forum: when you have your candidates forum, make sure that you give the the people who are running for the same office the same questions. And from the DBC point of view, I would like to ensure uh, that you. Uh, make these people accountable, make them speak to our issues. You know, it's, it's okay to say, hey, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this for the beaches, beaches and so forth, but we, they need to speak to black issues as well. And when I say black issues as well, I'm talking about branding the chokehold and uh, removing immunity from the post office that is di disenfranchising people, who keeping people from voting and so forth. And, uh, mm -hmm. and while we're on that subject, 
I would like to suggest that you tell people, yes, vote by mail if you have no other alternative, but drop your ballots off at the post office, I mean, at the uh, election office, because so much is going on with the post office. <clears throat> and it would be critical, uh, it is critical that you drop them in the slot yourself just go there and drop them in the slot even if you have to go and pick up your mothers or your neighbors or whoever who can't make it to the election office make sure you drop them in the slot now if you have to put them in the post office okay you know if you have no other means of getting it there so i think we need to share this to everybody in our community and also the other thing i kind of went off page right there but but the other thing we want to talk about uh uh, view on, get the candidates to talk about their views on immigrants becoming citizens. You know, we're, we're talking about people of color and, and a lot of times these people are being disenfranchised. So the bottom line, we want to put candidates in there who are going to speak to our issues, make sure they speak to our issues. You know, they can, a, a lot of times they will be hesitant to address things like chokehold or are the issues, the other issues that we have in the black community, police, um, police brutality and so forth. But they need to speak to that if you guys are going to vote for them and we have to hold them accountable. Let them know that we expect them to address that. Okay, thank you for that, uh, Glenda. Uh, go ahead. Hey, Any comments? Go ahead, please, go ahead. Yeah, Mr. Fred, this is, I wanna circle back to, uh, uh, well, inclusive of what Ms. Glenda said, I wanted to take a step back and. When we talked about getting, you asked about getting involved in the current campaign and what are the efforts that are, and how can we get, I guess, more involvement in terms of what's actually going on now. And it's probably my fault, but I know because of the pandemic and, uh, and my tendency to just kind of operate as I, as I need to uh, on my own, almost in a silo, so to speak. I know that I have, I've shared with you, uh, and I, I know Ms. Saunders also knows, but just so, Everybody knows and understands when I talk about what I'm doing from a tweeting standpoint, it, it wraps up full circle. From my behalf, I guess it's been about a, about a month, maybe two, um, I received a, a contact and information letting me know that I had been appointed uh, to the Florida State Democratic Party, the Diversity and Inclusion Committee. Um, I it was kind of a, it took me a, a I was taken aback, number one, because I didn't realize I was in consideration because I had no clue it existed. But, you know, nonetheless, I thought it was a great opportunity, so I happily accepted. Now, with that, it comes a, a lot of additional responsibility with respect to the overall state Democratic Party and, and things that we have to do and accomplish. So I kind of do those, but it, they are – I do them almost in a silo in a sense that I'm not necessarily communicating – uh, with you guys from the Black Caucus perspective, nor uh, from the Escambia Democrats. So, you know, I will say thanks to, I'm actually glad that Fred sent the notification out for their, uh, their being the Escambia Democrats uh, monthly meeting. So I did have a chance to sit through that uh, on Tuesday. Yes, days are kind of running together with the calls now, but on Tuesday. So we've got a lot, you know, hopefully I wanted to make sure what my involvement is because part of the uh, appointment with the uh, diversity and inclusion committee means that I'll be working with in two areas of focus. One of, us, one of them is as they've deemed it to be multicultural under which we would fall for black caucus. The second for our area would be faith-based and uh, although I uh, attend church, I don't necessarily know who the faith-based uh, individuals are for the Democratic Party here within this Cambia or in Northwest Florida. So uh, that's going to be my two areas of uh, target, so to speak, for the party. So with respect to what's currently going on, we get in, I know my involvement has been a little more than uh, – probably what I, I thought ex I would expect, but uh, I, I'm enjoying it. It's a lot of uh, a lot of involvement, but I apologize not communicating every day on what I'm doing because it, it honestly is a lot. Um, 
with respect yesterday, I know I had to change shirts three times and take selfies to make sure that they were posted and got back to the, uh, to the party. So it was like, okay, let me do this. And we had to do, we also did the uh, virtual uh, viewing, uh, the viewing party, virtual watch party, excuse me, for the DNC that has taken place these last three days. So there's a lot of involvement and we are, we are represented although maybe not necessarily as noted as it should be, but we are doing a lot in terms of representation for the party. Now, when you go, when you move forward to looking at uh, how do we get individuals to the point of building uh, almost as I, I had to go back to my days at Florida, but you said it so much uh, as a robust pipeline of candidates that are, uh, we have in, in house in terms of people to slot in positions when these uh, when the opportunities for election arrive, I know um, uh, Fred, you may have had some insight into it looking at your days in Florida, but I have to. That's been my my wealth of knowledge or expertise as it relates to candidates in in politics. I know some of you may say, well, that's the University of Florida. It has nothing to do with what we do in real life. But I would beg to differ. It's, it's probably the uh, standard, as some of the presidents have said uh, during my time, if you can survive elections at Florida, you're good for any campaign set forward. So with that, I know they did a great job at uh, identifying individuals uh, from a minority standpoint early on for student politics. And it has taken them, uh, you know, if you look at it, although not necessarily uh, black that I can know, uh, speak on specifically right now, but our current uh, commissioner of agriculture, Nikki, is a great, great friend. She actually was the person who, one of the two individuals that ushered me through my time at uh, University of Florida in re respect to getting involved politically. And so you look at it and see they do a great job of identifying and following through that uh, those pipeline of individuals. Now, how you move forward with that here locally, I, I think it's in the, you, you adopt the same type of standard that they use in terms of early identification and then making sure that you have them, I know there were boxes that we had to check off at Florida, and I say boxes meaning things that we had to do, uh, experiences that we needed to have under our belt so that when it came time to run for uh, student body president, vice president, whatever the case may be, it, it was a, uh, there was no discussion, you know, in terms of whether you were qualified, you wanted the process, uh, a little bit different because they identified who those individuals were going to be three to four years in advance, and they uh, matriculated them through the system such that it prepared them. Um, I, I, at first, I didn't necessarily like that standard, but that was way back then. I graduated in 2000. They still do the same model. It works. I've seen huge successes in terms of people who have identified, have matriculated through the system and are currently working through it. It's just a matter of identifying those individuals. But the, the key to that is identifying them and getting them actively engaged in the process. And how we do that, I don't know from that perspective. I think we, uh, we may tend to operate a, a bit in a vacuum or a silo but it is a matter of getting involved with the other organizations that are currently doing some of the things that we look to do. Like I look at, uh, uh, I've noticed here since I've been online and, and doing a little bit more with social media, the movement for change has a lot of candidates forums and they do a lot of uh, education around what's going on. Now, I don't know exactly it seems that everybody's running a parallel path, but there's not any synergy in terms of getting together and let's making this a bigger uh, avenue. I know they may have people that they have, they may have deemed or see as ideal for this, uh, for what we're trying to do, but I'm not sure if that's being communicated across the board or if you see the evidence of such. I, I would just like us to get a little bit more out of those vacuums and how do we, you know, if it's a matter of taking the time to, um, go to various meetings or sit in on or having a liaison, so to speak, to the other organizations, I'd much prefer to do that. At least you have an idea of what's going on 
and what other people are doing so that we can kind of either tie it together or say, okay, we don't need to take the same effort on because it's already being accomplished or how we come together to uh, fulfill what it is we're looking to do. Hey, Derek, 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 if I may, can I just chime in, Derek? Yeah, I'm done. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, great ideas, great ideas, Derek. I'm an old gator myself. I know what you're talking about in terms of the candidate development, get people ready to, to take the next step, identifying possible people who want to get involved. You know, there's a, there's a science to it. I agree. And with that being said, I want to have my point of committee of Derek at this point, as chairman, myself on the committee, and, and Sandra McCrary. The first three members to 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 get together and lay out our framework, our foundation for candidate development. We're partnering with the with the state chapter, with Lydia, our state president, see what they have in place for those type the type of activities. And let's start now real early for the next election cycle. Identify Mr. people. Mayor? With, yes. This is Karen Butler. Yeah. Yes. Time in for a second. Sure, go ahead, Karen. As as a current candidate, let me give you guys some feedback. One, the National Democratic Training Committee, the NDTC, they have a phenomenal training program. They brought the program live to Fort Walton Beach. So people from Panama City, people from Pensacola, even people from Georgia came and attended this training. It's an all day event and it was on a Saturday. They break it down once you're in there and there had to be several hundred people in there in attendance. And they broke it down by category. So, you know, like you used to change classes in school, yes, sir. you would separate into different groups. Some were a part of committees, some were people who were considering running for candidacy so in those different groups, they trained you based on your career path that you were looking at. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is a phenomenal program that they have. So not only do they have it live, but they do offer it online as well. Okay. And the online version of it has pre-recorded uh, training sessions that you don't have to reinvent the wheel to get to it is there okay. and it's it's incredible information i can attest to that super thank you for that comment that it is worth... free there's no cost to it all they have to do is register you know i mean literally sign up for it to get give yourself a, a name and an email mm -hmm. and they'll ask you if you're a democrat and then you just start taking the classes Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah record for that. and you can pause it if you need to. Yeah, yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely user friendly. I forgot yeah. about that. Thank you, Karen. Yeah, appreciate that, Karen. Yeah, and Glenda, and, yeah, and yeah, I, I was aware when it came are... down last, last summer. Yeah, I was aware of the, of the program, a lot of good reviews on it. People who, who mm -hmm. went and really enjoyed it. And that's probably I'll be part of the whole, whole foundation for our, our candidate identifying and developing the candidate. You got to identify first and develop the candidate. That's all part of the whole program we're going to hope to put, put in place using every tool we can get a person ready for the next step, including the uh, Democratic Party thing as you, as you just described. Uh, first, we got to identify people. Oh, yes. diverse, if they were first, they can identify those who might not be thinking about politics, actually. And like Sandra suggested earlier, right. by getting you with the fraternities, sororities, identifying their young members as also part of a program of identifying individuals, you know. So there's a lot, a lot of pieces to this, to this puzzle. Yeah, with the and, college Excuse me. A lot of pieces to the, to the puzzle. Uh, we and give with the colleges as well. Of course, colleges, and and even younger than, than, than exactly when they go through college, even so, you know the black uh, the black law student associations, the black the black um, uh, we'll call it the uh, on campus with the black college students uh, associations. So the, the, everything involved, the whole process is identifying people is the first part, I, I believe. Now some people become ready to go. Some people come already with their mission to be a politician. Some do and some don't. We want to identify more. They have not thought about it and bring them along. They start thinking about politics. That's part of our job also. And we'll get that part honed in first and then, they, then let them share with them all the different tools they can use to become ready for the next step. 
Okay, uh, Fred, before we move on, I need to get the name of the program that um, Glenda mentioned and that Derek mentioned where uh, you send out the emails or text messages reminding people to vote or or getting but, their support. Give me, give me, give, give me one second, uh, uh, Sandra. You, you got a point. There's a minor on my list also. We're going to you want to sort of end the conversation about the Karen, the development and then the vacation right now and move on. We got sort of on a few minutes left of the meeting. It's 6.50 now. But uh, truly want to use that, that process that the, the, the Karen talked about and Glenda talked about and also what uh, Dirk talked about, put in some kind of structure and going forward early on. But we could do that for another day. But getting back to Sandra's point and more immediate that the, the app, the uh, Hustle app, Sandra, you're talking about the Hustle app. That Derek mentioned earlier. That yes. was interesting. You want to expand on that, Derek, for us, the Hustle app, Derek? Sorry, I was trying to type the name in the chat as you were talking. Uh, the, well, the two that I use, I know I'm not sure what they were using previously, but the two that were recommended uh, for me that I've been uh, doing so, because it's kind of difficult to, uh, well, if you're managing from a social media standpoint, as well as like email communication to send out the same thing across three uh, or four, or however many social media platforms you're using, the two that I use that were recommended for me and I found to be relatively user friendly. Uh, the first is Hootsuite with H-O-O-T-S-U-I-T-E. Uh, and I'll, I'll, it's almost in chat. I just got to hit the enter button. And the second is called Buffer. Um, either one I found has been relatively simple for me to just put all whatever it is that I'm going to communicate uh, out for using that so I don't have to go to the first avenue and then to the next or, and then to the third being Twitter. It takes it into consideration and adjusts everything for it. I'm not sure how much uh, experience any of you guys have with social media, but like, you know, when you're looking at Instagram versus Facebook, it's much easier to do Facebook as the uh, primary mode of communication because of the ease of just either typing what it is you want to write or uh, posting the photo. However, when you get to Instagram, that's not the case because it has to be in some type of visual arts uh, format. So whether it's picture or video or some type of graphical inter, uh, image, you can't just type in, in, in Instagram. And then Twitter, of course, you're limited in character usage. So there's a, almost a science. I'm not sure how the people at, at the two platforms that I use, but they've got it down such that I can just post it in one and I'm good to go. And you can schedule it so that you don't necessarily have to do it real time if you want to set it up, which was very convenient yesterday. Uh, I can schedule the tweets to go out at, in the order in which, um, you know, I guess their relevance. Last night with the, the, the lineup of speakers, they gave us the list of uh, tweets, so to speak, uh, or recommended styles of what you would want to put. So I just kind of tailored that to the order in which they were speaking yesterday, and that's how I sent everything out. Uh, it made it from a communication standpoint. It's easy. Finish writing that in the tweet, so that, yeah. I, didn't, mm -hmm. I didn't get right that fast. So if you'll put uh, that no, in no the problem. chat box. Absolutely. Thank you. Also, also if I may, if I may, uh, uh, Derek, what about the, the Hustle app? Did that thing, Linda, the Hustle app, what is that? The Hustle no, app? I, no, that one I don't know. Um, okay. okay. The, the Hustle, that's very similar to what he's, he's speaking of. And so I don't think it make a difference. And I think you probably need to go along with what uh, Derek is saying because that's what he's familiar with. And they are very similar. Okay, great. great. I, I'm happy to adjust if there's something that the, the state is using differently or the Black Caucus from a state perspective is using differently. Um, personally, I, I honestly don't have a preference one way or the next. I just want to be able to, if, if that's going to fall within my wheelhouse of responsibility, to be able to do it in just one sync thing. Um, and that when you add that in com combination to then switching over from the state level, it just, it, it's a lot of communication at one time. So I want to make sure whatever it is is simple as possible. Right, so, exactly. you know. Exactly. And right. personally, right. and personally, so, uh, I, have, I have no purpose. I have no purpose. Wait, I, I can't do any of it, actually. So, so I have, we have, no, I have no purpose. To okay, so I have no purpose either. So I think that moving on here, I think. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I wanted to hear. Karen, Ms. Karen was saying something. I don't know. If... 
No, I just said you have, the, you have the flexibility to use I've been using the device you want to. Okay. Yeah. Of course, of course. But yeah, we well, got to. I've been using Hootsuite for about 10 years. It is an easy program to use. I, when I use it for real estate. So I set it up to where if I post on LinkedIn, it will mm -hmm. automatically post to Facebook and Twitter. What was that now? Was that Karen? What's that program? That, that's Tootsuite, what he was just talking about. Okay. It's oh, very yeah. user friendly. You identify which social media um, yeah. uh, platforms you want to use, and you can plug it into one, and then it can just go automatically to the other. You don't have to go in and post on every social media platform. Yes. yes. He wrote it in the chat box. Yep. Okay. Tootsuite. Okay. okay, great. All right, thank you. I have, I have, I have a dumb question because I don't know much about social media. How, how, do, how do we identify our, our, our recipients? Uh, so from the, well, so it is, it's twofold. So with the Facebook, I guess everything started with the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So when we set up the Facebook page, people, and you start engaging in terms of sending out communication. So with Facebook, you can, send it out just as you send it out to anyone else. You don't necessarily have to have a specific uh, audience. And as you, the way it was set up, it's as a page, not necessarily as an individual account. So people will go and start liking that page. Now, with the with respect to Facebook, that was the one that, if you recall, uh, we attempted, I attempted to set up initially, but uh, once the meeting that Barbara attended, Barbara Goins, I believe, uh, she indicated that we had one from, uh, I guess, the prior administration. So with that, it wasn't actively in use. Um, it, it hadn't been posted on OAC. So instead of kind of recreating the will to what uh, Karen was mentioning earlier, I just took that and kind of went with that one instead of the one that I was building. So we, I think we had initially uh, 118, 119. Mm -hmm. We're well, well, well past that. And uh we, the communication that starts, as you start sending out fake messages, people will see them, friends of friends, they pop up uh, with respect to where you're located and I guess your target audience. And you start building the, the, the base of followers, so to speak, from that standpoint. You then take that and you move it to Instagram. And usually what you will find is across the platforms, which is, you know, I guess from a personal standpoint, I never understood the different the need to have all three because the same people that you talk to, you talk to on all three or four sites. So I never understood what the difference was. But you start translating those, move, transferring, excuse me, those into Instagram. But everything that you write, it now has to look pretty, or so to speak, and into a visual standpoint. So you look at that, and then those transfers to additional followers, and you just take those individuals to Twitter. Twitter is the most recent one that we have, and I, the followers on that are maybe three, maybe four, but that's specific to having to tweet and other people, I guess, pick it up and and start following. So right now, the only people that are following the Black Caucus for Scambia County are myself, not that I say only people, because the two are good, but Joy Reid from MSNBC and uh, Cheryl Underwood. But that doesn't necessarily transcribe or help us into what we're doing here uh, locally. But it is great to have us on a national platform. So if we say something great, at least it gets a little bit more exposure from that standpoint. Okay. When, when the, when our time is, I understand this is a topic of much discussion, but we need to, need to sort of put it in a, in a way we can move on. We can develop it uh, outside the meeting. Uh, with, that being, with that being said, uh, you know, we got, we got the platforms, we got the mechanics of it. Now we got to get some co content to it, if you will, some content. And and that's another subject for uh, we need to be able to get on right away because the content drives the current election. As far as content, Derek, in terms of what we post on the on the on those platforms, this is everywhere, not just Derek. How do we do? We have should have a meeting to discuss that content. We rely on the party, what the party gives us. No, so uh, the content that I post is not anything uh, that's uh, specifically g given to us. The only thing, when I talk about the state, that was specifically for this week in terms of 
things that needed to go out for a DNC. Sure, or, sure. With respect to yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, I uh, the Democrat, that. with respect to Scambia, all of the information that is provided is, for the most part, in three buckets. It's uh, politics or the current or or national election, or excuse me, local or national election, uh, COVID-19, mm-hmm. and that's it. Okay. So if it doesn't let, fall let, within let, those let, wheelhouses, let me, I, I, let, it typically isn't posted. But there's nobody directing in terms of what it is. It's relatively. Well, no. Let's sort of drop down. With that being said, sort of narrow up this conversation with the um, uh, with the woman involving uh, our program to to network with other with younger group of people, with terms of sororities. Should we talk about having a virtual meeting and inviting those those other entities, particularly the younger people like the fraternities, the college associations, invite them to a meeting that we're going to spot with host virtually. Should we discuss doing that sometime real soon uh, to get the right word out? Um, should we? What should we do in terms of marrying our our tech platforms? We're trying to reach out to young, yeah, young think, people. What, what do you think, members? It's probably going to take at least a few months. I mean, I yeah. re- we don't have a whole lot of time before the election, okay. so right. um, if we could have it ready. Uh, and work on it. We have with these committees work on it by the next meeting. We need to have something ready um, to go out, but we'll have to work on it weekly to uh, get that that done uh, because we're already in the middle of us. So we need to have something going by at least uh, middle of September or the end of the first of October. Okay. Yes, well, I like the like that the timetable, uh, uh, Karen, Sandra. You know, I'm trying to say that given our, our limited time before the election, what can we do as as a as a as an organization to to help you know join that loud voice of getting the word out, to vote, to like someone said, bring your ballots in early, drop them off at the, at the place where they mail them if they can, and you know, those kind of things we all know we need to do. But come from our from our platforms, you know, how can you know, and and, and including inviting other, other people to our, our, our virtual meetings, all those things together. You know, should we have a committee meeting sometime next week to plan that more so? Uh, uh, you know, Frank, what, yes. If I can interject again, I, I apologize. Um, last night, Okaloosa County uh, did a virtual fundraiser. Okay. Okay. And what we did was we had musicians who volunteered some of their time. We had about four or five musicians, various genres of music. In between the music set, the candidates spoke, okay? So the musician would play two songs and then the candidate would say something. And then another musician would play two more songs and another candidate would say something. And then we had a question and answer period. I say that to say, music draws everybody. If you have a virtual online event and invite people to it and do the exact same thing in between your music, your musician sets, you know, when you're switching from one to the other while they're setting up, then you can talk about, um, you know, the the party, the platform, uh, running, getting involved, voter turnout, blah, 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 because you've got about three to five minutes in between each set. And you can take advantage of that. They're going to stay online because they want to hear the music. Okay. So you have their undivided attention and then you give them some more music so they don't go away. You appease them for a minute and then you come back and hit them with some more information. But that might be a great way to get them engaged. Yeah. So uh, just to piggyback off of that, just as Scambia, the Scambia Dems are Democrats are doing that. They haven't set their date. So if that's something that we're looking to do, um, it would be, you know, hopefully we could marry it with them. Now, based on the cl- their meeting the other day, the the, the line up, lineup in terms of music wasn't anything that I probably would want to hear, but, you know, that was just my opinion. I liked what they did with uh, Okaloosa. Yep. So I, did that, as well. I yeah. did that as well with the Florida Democratic Party, and we called it the Black Brown Party. And you can actually, it's still online there on Facebook. And uh, what we did, uh, 
as Karen was saying, we had music and then we had speakers to come up and say mm -hmm. something and so forth. So, and we had dancing. <laughs> dancing? Wow. <laughs> so dance in your bedroom. Yeah, in your, yeah, virtual dance, dance in your living room or yeah. a sit yep. seat and dance. Yep. Like sure. Yeah, that's yeah. the way to do it. And you can keep them engaged while doing it. I think that would be a great idea if you guys could do it. I'm playing the right music. <laughs> Right there. So, so, right, exactly. <laughs> let, let's um, let's sort of you know. I think now we should at this point try to develop a, a program for that idea, for that thought. Uh, we probably need to you know. I know Al Martin real well, for one. I know um, young saxophone player. Can't think of his name. You're a young guy. Went to FAMU. Um, mm. uh, for Connor. Yeah, Car awesome. yeah, Carter. I know his awesome. family awesome. real yeah. well. I know Al Martin real well. Al and I went to high school together. He's older than I, but same high school. Um, that's, that's two good individuals. So, you know, other folks may know somebody that they know, even a younger, younger person or another type of music. And we could talk. Hey, you we... the guys that we had. We had a young rapper. Yeah. He was in there rapping last yeah. night. Yeah. Yep. Um, some guy called Fly Guy. He was playing that's the sax. Me. It was wicked. It was good. Okay, well. Can we get together with? Can we? I want, let's just put some, submit some names to our on our on our. On, uh, how should we submit the sit, submit the possible artists? Who should that go to, Derek? Our Facebook page. Go to uh, e by, e by email. Send by email possible artist. Um, we got a uh, chapter email, right? Our chapter email. There's artists that we know. We think we can yeah. we can corral to, to to work work with us, and we get that done. I guess by 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 next Monday. And then kind of go oh. from, go from there. Just oh. a thought. Any any comments? Is just so I'm clear. Is this something that you're looking to do for the ECDB, uh, the Demo the Black Caucus here, or are you looking the, the for black, a larger the black, the black Caucus? Our Black Caucus is our Black Caucus, uh huh? Skip me, County. Then we have Black Caucus exactly. You know, you know, all it's all hands on deck now. You know, it's not it's not it's not too many. You can't have too many hands on deck during this campaign season. We could chime in, chime in late. If that's a good thing, a later, it's all good in my opinion. You can't put the call out too much, as we got to vote, vote, vote. So, and then to bring people together, uh, put the put vote on their minds is is a good thing. Can we do it? That's the question. I'm trying to find out the, the the system, the way the way to get that done in terms of um, between now and the November third, basically. Yeah, I don't know how they did the one in Okaloosa. I actually, when I saw, I only saw it, or was able to participate briefly because we had to do the uh, the DNC stuff yesterday. But I liked what they did. Now how they arranged it, I don't know. But uh, the like I said, the Scambia is already doing it. I don't know if that's something to consider in terms of trying to reach out to them. How they are putting it together, sure. what their current yeah. list is. Good, good idea. Uh, yeah. Mechanically, you know, well, we may not use their artists, but how to do it right, right. logistically, sure. Reach out to them and see, let's not, let's not reinvent the wheel, see how they did it, and we can copy their, their framework with our artists, if you will. Yeah, we could do that. Uh, who's over that program? Do you know um, Sandra doing that for them? Who's created that project for the Scandinavia County, DEC? Who's over that? Uh, Ron, do you know? Lily uh, Eubank. Yeah, I know she's the chair. Well, I call I call Lil. Uh, we all know Lil. I'll give Lil a call and see how they're doing that. But yeah. the same thing, and, thing and is, I just took the position of um, part of the DEC committee, and I do apologize. My my grandson is starting his football game in Montgomery, who I was supposed to be. But yes, I am. Uh, I mean, I'll talk to Lil today. Mm -hmm. So if you want me to touch base with Lil, I can. P please do. And unless you know some artists in town, rappers. Po po poet, poets, whatever, a blue, jazz artists, a blues singers, get their names, talk with them, and, and, and list those, email those to our e chapter email, and let's kind of get a list of people, of possible possible artists we could use uh, at the event once we once we plan it and and, and get it uh, get it organized. Okay, so let's do that first by Monday. Talk with people that you know who's artists, and get a name of few artists to use for this event. That's the first thing. Who we're going to use to to play, to sing, and so forth. Let's do that first, okay? And we can talk with Lil Eubanks and get out to do, doing the mechanically or, or the tech part of it. 
and, and we get together maybe in another 10 days to talk about how we're going to put it all together. It's the artist, the mechanics are the first two things. It's virtual, you know, so it's, it's easier than, than we're in the building and that, kept that type of thing, so. Well, yeah. but keep in mind, too, though, I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Okaloosa, the, the event that they had, their, their artist participation wasn't free. So. And that's a good comment to make, Derek, because ours must be free. <laughs> we, 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 we're gratuitous uh, artists. We don't, we don't have any money to pay anyone, so if they can't do it gratuitously, you know, they can't donate their services for the, for the cause, then we can't really use them. Okay, so anyway. I don't know. I don't know what the artists were charging, but I do know that what we were doing was a fundraiser. So yeah. How do I you, can find you, out for you? Well, sure. People contribute. How do you raise the funds? They donate online or something, uh, Karen? How would they pay their? No, you had to pay for the ticket in order to get the link to for oh, really? the short. Yeah. Oh wow! Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You couldn't just show up. No, I didn't. Don't. I, I didn't think. Yeah. About that. Okay. Well, let's get the artist first. This at this point indicate that the you know there was, was you know maybe a fundraiser. If it does, we can pay them. If not, we can't pay them, and see where they commit to being in, to being involved in a project like this. You know, they may have a, have a humanitarian side of themselves. They want to help out in the campaign. Who knows? But. Let's keep both our options, our options open, okay, if you will. And and by Monday, can email names to the email on there? Would that be a, would that be something we all could do? Email the chapter email about potential artists that we have talked to. Is that easy enough, members? Sure. Okay. All right. Let's do that first. Okay. Um, also, <laughs> send to the committee regarding identifying new um, potential candidates in the future. Of, of Dirk, myself, and you on the committee initially, if you will, for the minutes. Um, we're going to jump on the agenda because it's 7 11 now. We went a little, went a little over. Let's go to the other part, if, if I may. Uh, we're going to delay the uh, item, uh, item B and C. We're, we're delay those for, for the next meeting, if you will. Uh, item D, um, we can also put that on the, um, are we going to delay that? Item also, and uh, and there out of me, I think all the discussion been been about, about out of me, if you will, all has been the message, part of the voice out there, getting the word out, is all part of what we've been discussing the last I guess half hour. Uh, also, F also, same thing. So let's go to the endorse endorsements conversation very quick. Endorsing individuals. Let's go with Phil Air first, if you will. Um, uh, so, Glenda, how do we do that normally? We just have a vote or, if you will? Uh, yes. <clears throat> I'm glad you went to this because I have to get off the phone and I'll okay. go into another Zoom meeting. Okay. But um, the way you do that, I just want to make sure I'm telling you, I'm, I want to read it to you if I can find it. Okay. Um, the executive committee has to vote on it and then you present it to the to the body and everybody vote on it. Uh, here it is. I think this is it. Okay. The president shall have the option of appointing go, go okay, ahead, go ahead. The, the president should have the option of appointing a campaign committee. If no committee is appointed, the president and the executive committee shall comprise the campaign committee. A committee will prepare a questionnaire, coordinate with the candidates, and arrange dates and venues for interviews, and which you probably have already done this. And when you do the interview, as I said earlier, you have to make sure each candidate gets the same question if they're running for the same office. Um, on the, only registered Democrats can be invited to forums. Any recommendation for statewide candidates will be made by the state level and any rec recommendation for local candidates will be made by the local chapter level. Any recommendation for statewide candidates will be supported by all DBCF chapters. Recommendations, endorsements are permitted. 
However, they are not required by state or local caucuses. Okay, thank you for that. Let me mm -hmm. so make sure we're clear. I want to, if you have two Democrats in the same same race, can we endorse one over the other? You can't do that, but the body has to agree on it. You can entire, do it. You can, can okay. but the entire body has to agree on it. Okay, and that's through a vote, correct? That's through a vote. Okay. 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 So start with the executive committee being appointed. The executive committee being appointed by the president, and they must first do their due diligence. Yeah, the executive committee is appointed by the president. And if you don't have executive committee, the president, hold on. I mean, if you don't have a, um, what you call it, election committee? Mm -hmm. Let me see what I read. Hold election, on. Committee. election committee? Okay. Executive, which one? Election committee? Okay. Uh, what you wrote earlier was election committee. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Election committee. Appointed by the president? Yes. Okay. Okay. And they bring in, they bring they bring their recommendation back to the full body? Yeah, the the, the executive committee and the president. if you don't have an election committee, mm -hmm. the executive committee and along with the president can do it. And then you bring it to the whole body for a vote. Okay. Okay. Well, and then we only have one in that in that in that scenario. Of course, two Democrats. That's um, that's um, Ron Helms and uh, Tony Broughton. Um, we'll go with the easy ones first, uh, without any any. Uh, just, well, I guess at the point of committee first. Just gonna, the, I rather that the that committee and the president replace the election committee. The officers who are on yes. the committee. Yes. The, 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 committee, the, the, the committee that is going to is going to be going we'll meet. We'll meet. Um, we shall meet uh, one. I'll give you an email and, and get you what your calendars are we, early next week to do that, if you will. And we'll start a special call meeting of the body in order to give our recommendations at that time. That's my timetable. Uh, next early next week, we'll the committee will meet uh, virtually or by phone, and then we'll make a recommendation. Then have a call, call meeting within within the next week, if you will, um, still in August. And we'll in uh, September and endorse. We'll bring our findings to the general body, as to between Tony and Ron, Tony Brown and Ron Helms, if you will. Okay, I'm just being direct. Our time is running short. And anyone has any another uh, another option or another recommendation along those lines, please share. I like I like I like ideas. I don't mind ideas. So please go go ahead. Uh, Chairman Gant, I just wanted to add. I think you stepped out of the room. Um, the, from my experience in previous caucuses, uh, this election cycle, uh, as was stated, uh, each candidate has to receive the same questionnaire mm -hmm. and, uh, and then interviews are to be conducted. So uh, okay. that was part of the process she outlined. I think you were, had stepped away from that. That is true. Thank you very much, Ron. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And just and for also, a use of time. Any, any, more, any more comments? Just one yes, there I have to, to do uh, all, uh, Go ahead. Sorry. Fred, Fred, did you need anything else from me? Because I need to leave. I have another meeting that I'm late for. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you I have a if you'll yeah. just send that to me in writing again to Fred and I those questions so we can get it to them and uh, do a definite vote by next meeting then, on then endorsement. Send back to you. What do you want me to send you? The 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 requirements. Okay, I'll send those Fred. to you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. And, 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 yes. So you said at the state level, the state has to make the decision. Is that correct? Yes. So for me, the state has to make the recommendation? I don't think so, no. I mean, statewide, I'll, statewide, statewide, I'll statewide, statewide. 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 Yes, I, I would think it would be something like the senators, like those yeah, running for Senate for the U.S. Standpoint. Yeah. That's okay. My okay. I'll go I'll go like that, yeah. Local for this area then. Exactly. Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. Chairman okay. Gant. Yes. I, I'm go sorry on. to uh, give input again, but um, the local uh, caucus uh, should make a recommendation and potential endorsement, and then it's automatically forward to the state uh, party for affirmation. Uh, so potentially, as it has been already in previous caucuses, the local caucus voted who they want to endorse, and they forward and a separate recommendation to the state uh, and they 
uh, either affirm it or make no endorsement. Now, uh, with the Black Caucus, with the Democratic Black Caucus, the chapter, the local chapter, do not have to uh, send it to the state if it's if it's a, a local election. Okay. But what I'm, I'm a little confused. Ron, were you saying that, were your comments specific to state candidates or were you saying that for uh, everybody? I'm mute. I'm mute. Can't hear you. Ron, you were on mute. I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, so far, the caucuses, uh, and I, I have been endorsed by two locally, is that it is required, uh, or, or you may choose to endorse locally, uh, as, as one of the things the Equality Caucus did was they forwarded it onto the state to seek an additional um, endorsement should they choose, and in that case they did. So, uh, but you're not required to endorse anyone as a local caucus, and uh, but you're also, you may choose to do that. And you also don't have to forward it to the state okay. for an additional endorsement. Thank you. Just as long as we have all have the same process. Right. Okay. Okay, well, it's, it's, it's about 730, if you will. I want to respect people's time and effort to make it to the meeting. I have uh, to so leave. We, so we're going to, yeah, we're going to, we're going to table our other agenda to the, um, the next meeting. If you Thanks, will. Amanda. Okay. You're welcome. And um, so at this point, uh, I'll, unless, unless anyone has a want to make a comment to the contrary, I'd like to make a motion to table the agenda to the next meeting. So move. Second. Second. Okay. Move the second to the table. The agenda item is not was not adhered, not addressed tonight to the next meeting. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Super. Well, thanks for coming out. I appreciate your time, effort, comments, and energy. Enthusiasm, intellect, uh, and insight into this process. So I'm, I'm excited about getting reengaged again with this with the Black Caucus of Scandinavian County. And again, we'll meet at a committee meeting next week. I'll give you guys a call as far as the email, I mean, as far as the time time frame, the committee. And as to the other project, the artist, please send some names in by Monday through our email. And I'll get with uh, Sandra and and Derek uh, real soon. There's one more thing before you go, Derek. And we, we talked last week, Derek and I did. Derek is an, an accomplished, an accomplished uh, politician at the college level. And <laughs> Derek was well known. Derek was well, he was well known, well received, and by virtue of having done that at the highest level of, of campus life in the University of Florida, he's well known all around the state. You know, we know Derek is our Derek, but statewide, he's well known. But most I was flying under the radar for a bit there. But. <laughs> <laughs> most of the state who's run for, who hold office now, a lot of them know Derek, Derek Scott. Okay, so he's, he's a resource for us. He's our secret, our secret weapon. And Derek, thank you for being part of our, our chapter. I appreciate that. Thanks. Okay, thank you, Derek. With that thank being you. said, Thanks. thank you, Derek. Good night, everybody. See you Good next night. Time. And I'll post this, I'll post the recording for everybody for the meeting if they need to review or have any other questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. Bye-bye. Have a good one.